going on YouTube? You're watching Next Gen Speed. So we got the C8 in the shop. We're gonna do some headlight stuff today, which includes the PPF protection film and some new tint we got at Next Gen. So with our PPF material right here, we're gonna protect the headlights today. Make sure you don't get any more rock chips. Make sure the nights are protected. Make sure they're nice and clean. Then we're gonna add this new tint that we have, which includes this nice holographic design. You guys can see that. Cool little design, you know, hexagon with a nice little like RGB coloring on it. Gonna look pretty dope with the vinyl wrap we have in the vehicle. So we're gonna get that installed, show you guys how it looks. If you guys want this, offering that now, so make sure to hit us up because you guys need anything installed, we got you covered. Ice props alcohol, car's pretty clean right now. We're gonna make sure get all the solvents or get all the dirt off, all the grime, all the oils. Make sure the headlights have a nice area for the pieces to stick to. Metro Restyling finally got restocked on the sample metallic wrap. So we'll be rewrapping this bumper here pretty soon to get this shit all figured out after the rally. It's all ready to go for the install. If you guys can see closely, I wish I did this a couple years ago because a couple rallies I've been on, the lights are a little bit scuffed up as you can see from rocks and stuff like that. I recommend do this when you first get the vehicle. It'd be the best bet. C8 all ready to go. Just gotta get the PPF cut out and then we'll get her going. Too much perfect size and trim out the edges, but that's ready to peel her. Down, just take out the big
cut out, ready to install. Almost complete with the headlight PPF. It's got these little corners tucked down. Been a little difficult, you know, but with some heat, with some tack, you should be good to go. Let's get all that water out, use some heat, and you should be good. And the headlight PPF is officially done, guys. Came out pretty damn amazing. As you can see, camera focus. Can't even tell she's on there. That's a good tell, it's not nice. Just that's still curing up a little bit. I just need to dry a little bit more to get them fully secured, but she's looking nice. Hell yeah. Wait for this to dry a little bit more, use some heat, get that stuck down, but should be good to go. Yeah, little air bubbles here and there will be in there. Some will help that evaporate out. It'll be covered up anyway. So let's get to the fun part of this. Because the curvature of the headlights, you have to do some work with them. You pretty much want to start with the last part of the headlights, which are pretty right here. You start on this edge, lay her down, squeeze it down to the left side. Try to get as much air bubbles out as I can. It's got her pretty much ready to go. It's gonna line her up and stick her down. Stuck down so far, I'm gonna bring her onto the edge. Looks pretty damn cool, guys. I like that. Tour. Let it stretch out a little bit. than I thought, it does require some heat. But we pretty much got her down. All gotta do is trim, we should be good to go. So got every corner tucked, every curve tucked as well around the edge. So I wanna do this as much as you can, tuck it as much as you can because you don't wanna trim it. You wanna trim it after it's tucked. It might look up funky, you know. Tuck it like that as much as you can, and then we're good to trim.
all trimmed up. Looking crazy, guys. Got all the edges tucked up. All looking clean. Now that's hard. I like that. So got this side all laid down. If you guys are having issues on these curves and on this curvature on the edges, it's pretty much take this piece out, stretch it out. Make sure there's no tension in it. Take the heat gun to that part and then stretch it out a little bit and you should be good to go. And she's officially done, guys. Got the headlight PPF officially installed. All good. And also the headlight tints. And this crazy look, you know. I'm liking it, guys. It gives the car a whole new look. Kind of like a snake eyes look almost. I like that. Let's see how she looks like with the headlights on. Headlight visibility is still good, as you can see. Turn on the low beams real quick. Yeah, I shouldn't have no issues with that. It's pretty damn cool. Look at that little effect design. Magic, guys. Try your best to get them as secure as you can. Trim them down as much as possible. Just make there's no overlap material sticking out. But eventually will come up, so. I trim it down and get it tucked as much as you can. We're back in Michigan, back at the next gen speed shop, doing our thing. Got a new splitter on the way for the C8. Cause the side's cracked up and everything over here. Gonna throw my old one on from the previous rally that's all rock chipped up for now, for temporary, until we get the brand new fresh one in. But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Please like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next time.